there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I'm doing this right on the spot. I wasn't planning to do this video at all uh, today or at any time, but I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this. And it's something I've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks, literally the last three weeks. And it's something I've mentioned to other players out there and talked to other players and like, yeah, that's plausible. That's a, that's a, a good hypothesis, so to speak. Now, I was looking at my Dark Magician deck profile, and I've been listening to your comments and everything, and talking to other people, and everybody's all excited for the Blue Eye support, which is awesome. But everybody keeps saying, you know what, I wish Dark Magician would get support too, with his own archetype, and things like that. I wish Konami would do that. And I'm here today to talk about that. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Uh, some hypotheses I've been thinking about. Now, granted, a card that I really would think help the Dark Magician archetype or Dark Magician decks out there in general is Eternal Soul, which is a great card. I'm not going to talk about it. It's been out for over a year, but it's only an OCG exclusive still, and we have not got it over here in the TCG. I'm hoping we get it some get that card sometime in 2016. It'd be really nice if we get that, but I'm not going to hold my breath. It's a great card, Eternal Soul is, and we really need it out out here in the TCG. But let's talk about what I was. this video is really about today. So as we all know, um, in Mar May, I think it is, of 2016, we are getting Shining Victories out here in the TCG. I know we just got Breaker of Shadows. I'm, even, I'm looking to the future. I'm looking for that blue eye support, even though I got my uh, Solemn Scoldings recently. I picked some up for cheap. Uh, apologize for the ads, guys, but whatever. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is we know Shining Victories will gain Blue Eye support. The set after Shining Victories, though we do not have a release date for it over here in the TCG, is called Dark Illusions, and this is in uh, Japan, in the OCG. You can see here Dark Illusion is, is scheduled for it to come out in April. We really don't know much about this set as of right now from looking at it. Uh, as you can see here, this is what's up on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki. It just, there's nothing right now about it. I would hypothesize in the next couple of weeks we will know more about this set. Uh, there will be some leaks probably in the next V-Jump or something of that nature. And I'm going to talk about something here. I really believe, truly and honestly, that the name of this title kind of gives away what this set could be about. Dark Illusions. Think about it for a second. Doesn't that sound like a Dark Magician archetype? Doesn't that really sound like a Dark Magician-esque card? Even though I know it's the name of the set and not a card. The Dark Illusion. Dark Magician, his illusionist tactics, you know, stuff like that. And then I started thinking at first. Now, we all know in the Dark Side of Dimensions video, uh, hit the wrong button, I apologize, um, that Dark Magician looks like this in the movie that's coming out in the OCG. And Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon is this card right here. Now, when we first saw this come out in the V-Jump last year, Everybody said, hey, you know what? Blue Eyes looks really different. It looks like it's a different card. Dark Magician looks really different too. Now, granted, Dark Magician has had many different incarnations. And granted, I completely understand that this movie is going to be based off, from what I know, the manga instead of the main show necessarily. But still, we said, and I know the community as a whole said, Blue Eyes looks different and Dark Magician looks different. Their artwork, and maybe, I know, you know, Kazuki Takahashi probably has something to do with this. But still, this, a couple of weeks later, a couple a month or so later, we found out that this was Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. We don't know anything about Dark Magician yet. We know about the Lemon Magician, the Dark Magician girl type of archetype somewhat. Still, it's very shady on that. But I got a hypothesis that this could be a new archetype for Dark Magician or Signal Calling. Because if this was a new monster... And this card looks completely different. The only Dark Magician this looks like is the Show and Jump Anniversary Artwork, 10-year Anniversary Artwork. Look at this. This is Dark Magician from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Show and Jump Anniversary Artwork. He doesn't look anything like that. He kind of does look like it if you put them side by side. And I've looked at the card and looked at this, and they kind of look similar. And then I said, well, what other artwork does he kind of look like? He may look like the alternative artwork that the OCG has for Dark Magician. Again, I apologize for the ads. I don't have ad block on right now, but I just got this sneaking suspicion in my gut that keeps telling me that in Dark Illusions, Dark Magician may get his own archetype finally. 
Because why in heaven's name would Konami, with this movie coming out, and they really, for the last year, have been doing something really interesting, if you've been paying attention, for the last year in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! and the OCG, and in the TCG. Number one, they've been making more anime-exclusive cards. Okay? Number two, they've been making older archetypes and giving them new support. Uh, it all started with Blue Eyes, Crystal Beast, Red Eyes... You know, Buster Blader, they made into an archetype. Who was expecting that? BLS becoming his own archetype. Who was expecting that? Uh, nobody. Blue Eyes is becoming its own archetype officially. Toons got more support. Where's Dark Magician? Why would they leave out Yugi Moto's most iconic card and not make an archetype out of it? Why? That doesn't make sense. Even in Konami logic, that does not make sense. Granted, I know they've given a lot of good support in Dark Renewal and stuff, Renewal, but I got this sneaking suspicion, guys, and only time will tell if this is true or not, if Dark Illusion is going to show us a Dark Magician archetype. Granted, I have no idea what it would be about, and this video I'm also going to ask you guys, what would you like to see? What type of mechanic would you like to see the Dark Illusion? Illusion um, archetype workaround. Um, fusioning would be nice, but they already have Ayatomias. So I would like to see something that revolves maybe around exceeding, synchroing. Just, I don't, I don't know, pendulum summoning maybe? I don't know. Um, granted, you could use Dark Magician already in pendulums, but what would you like to see the Dark uh, Magician archetype be based on? Uh, what would you like to see the mechanic be like? I like to see the ability to send Dark Magicians to the graveyard. And easily reborn them, use them with Ayatomias maybe, and go off. But that's neither here nor there. Who knows what they'll do? They'll probably make a dark, a new dark magician, like what they did with Red Eyes, Buster Blader, and BLS, that has an effect, um, and they'll have a mechanic that goes with it. They'll probably have supporting caster, you know, supporting spell casters, which means you could probably still run the spellbook engine. This is just all hypothetical, but I just personally feel like that. I can't get this nagging feeling out of me that Dark Illusions is going to have a Dark Illusion archetype in it somehow, some way. Now, granted, we won't know. And we won't see this, guys, until probably September or August of 2016. But I feel like in the next couple of weeks, after the next V-Jump comes out, we may see some indications and whatnot. Because this is going to be coming out in April. That's not too far away for the OCG. And we'll probably know most of the set by April. I personally feel like it may have Dark Magician in it. So don't be surprised if you see a Dark Magician archetype coming out. People were finding leaks about it in the next couple of weeks. Um, I just got a feeling, guys. I just got a feeling that sooner or later, sometime in 2016, Dark Magician is going to be his own archetype. So that's all my that's all this video is about, guys. I apologize. It's not the best quality and everything, but I just wanted to talk about this nagging feeling before I go to work. Because um, that's all. But till next time, guys. Take care. Have Good luck dueling. Uh, have fun dueling. And I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video. There will be a mail call video up later today. Uh, later today, guys. But I just want to make this quick video because I just want to talk about this because I just got this nagging feeling in my gut. But yes, take care, everybody.